There we are. We have uh, some triple skirchies, and they're heading towards the well. This kind of uh, drainage system that uh, what's it called? I think it's actually called the Rhino drainage or something like that. I keep forgetting, but it goes down towards the big bridge that we cross, and. The giraffe there are heading towards some rather attractive trees with very pretty pinkish white flowers on them. And I don't know what the tree is. Craig has taken some shots of it, so hopefully we'll be able to identify it when we get home. But they seem to be heading towards the safety almost of the trees for the evening. And we saw probably five or six other giraffe in that area in the trees there as we came past the other side. And I guess that's quite opposite from the well, what you'd expect in a, at a place like Juma, where the giraffe would, and most animals, would come out into the open for the evening. But I guess the predators here spend most of their time prowling the plains as opposed to the thickets and woodland areas. And so, well, I guess that's why the giraffe are seeking the comfort of the trees rather than the open areas at the moment. Perhaps there's just a pub in there that they like. James, you're wondering about the most abundant mammal species found in the forested areas. I suspect it would be some kind of bat, James, but I don't know enough about the bats to say which species it would be. In terms of the large mammals, um, well, there are quite a few bushbuck. I think you'd find quite a lot of buffalo, but of course they're in and out. So, you know, let's call them a savanna species that spend some time in the, in the, in the trees. They're elephants the same, so we're not going to count them. It's quite possibly the bushbuck.